Hey everyone, welcome to the show, my so-called fabulous. I'm Tiffany and welcome, welcome to season eight. I have to look down because I have to pinch myself. Episode number 193 on my podcast. I started in January of 2020 and I've told you all these things, but for you new people, you're going to have to listen, you, you people that have been around for a while. Thank you for following along. And I just like to take the beginning of each season and the end and kind of just tell you what I'm doing, what I've been doing. And I will map out our year for you because those of you are like, where are you? What are you doing? So we, we have podcasts. We take off January and February and we do March through June, take off July and August and come back September through December. So we are in season eight. Now, If you do the math, that doesn't make much sense. So I started a podcast when my precious friend suggested I start a podcast. I didn't even know what it was. I refer to my radio show for my dad, always tells me that, Um, but started the podcast and didn't know what I was doing. I have an incredible group of people. Um, most of them are very young that are helping me through this phase of this, uh, technology that I don't really understand. But when I started the podcast, I didn't know to do seasons. My goodness, we should be (laughs) probably in season 20 by now. I don't know. But right now we're in season eight. Episode number 193 is where I'm coming to you. It's September of 2024. This podcast has survived a pandemic. You listen to me a lot. And if you know me, you know that this is not my favorite thing to do, to sit here and talk to you the entire time by myself. Because I started this because I wanted to help people. I wanted you to learn from my mistakes and failures. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. I always say that. And I've had therapists and coaches say, don't say that. But, um, and... So success and failures and what that means to me. I've learned more from my failures and I've had some this summer. Um, I've learned more from my failures than I have my success. So um, that's what I'm doing here to share with you. And why did I start it? To help you, um, to help solve a problem, to educate. Um, it's kind of had of a, become a health and wellness And I started as a lifestyle, but it kind of, I have my daughter that works with me, my marketing manager, she, she keeps me on track, like on mom, you just, you're, you're getting too in the weeds of health. But here I am 59 turned 60 in January. And I can't believe I said that. I just can't believe it. Where did the time go? But, um, it has, it's my health has been a challenge and I'm probably one of the more healthy people that I've known in my life. But you've heard my stories about breast implant illness. I have survived that and actually kick it in the booty because it took January, last November of 2023, November 9th, I had explant surgery uh, with Dr. Robert Whitfield. He, I love him. I just do. I tell him that all the time. I love him. I um, had my implants removed and am a new person. Um, something like you did, you couldn't even tell in the podcast that you weren't feeling well. I felt awful, y'all. But took six months after, started in January through July to clean up my gut and what a mess. Three autoimmune diseases and um, what a mess that gut was. And so now as I sit here, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I've started the detox program because you really, really need to be, get the toxins out of my body. And I'm doing that even more so with the help of Cellcore. Cellcore has been amazing um, in helping me through gut cleanup, but now it's helping me get those heavy metal mold um, parasites. Next month, guess what? Parasites. And, you know, I was so shocked when they said that, but they're like, the majority of people actually have it. So I'm going to keep you up to date on that. It's not pretty, but anyway, as I sit here with a headache, but that's okay because it's going to be fabulous. Um, reflecting on the season's past, um, past season, we were so proud to be voted by Fort Worth magazine as podcast of the year in 2024. You have no idea how much that means that you voted me. It was the reader's choice. And, um, we're so proud because we worked so hard on it. You know, people ask me, why do you do this? You don't have to do this, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do have to do this because I'm keeping my brain going and I want to do this. I had a great career as a chef doing media and, and writing cookbooks, but this 
reaching you and talking to you and being at one with you and my audience is incredible. I love it. I love it every day. And so they say, well, what if would you give up? Would you give up the podcast? The podcast is the most difficult and the most expensive thing we do. Um, but I love it. Love it. This is number four for me today. And I love it um, because I feel like we are solving problems or at least helping just a little bit. The year before, 2023, you voted me social media influencer a year. And I say that and I get so emotional. But um, in 2023, influencer of the year, I'm 50. I was 58 years old. How did that happen? But you did it. And we did it as a team. We did it as a team. Um, we defined the why of MSCF, my so-called fabulous. I have to, um, I have to put an acronym with it, but, um, the why, and I just explained that to you, this is why we do this, um, every single day we come at you and it may not be something you want to see if I'm showing the crock pot chicken again on social media, but we're having a great time and I hope you are too. Um, this season, season eight, what is the theme? Again, I get a little bogged down with health because I'm going to talk to you about gut disorders. I'm going to talk to you about autoimmune, I'm going to psoriasis. I'm going to talk to you about, uh, breast cancer, breast implant illness. We're going to talk to you about sleep disorders, but you know, some of these things are so deep. Not everyone has an autoimmune disease. Not everyone has cancer, but we're, we get so deep in this, but you know, sleep issues and gut issues are so, so incredibly prevalent. It's unbelievable the number of you that relate to this. Um, we're going to talk about um, the journey with health. I've told you multiple times, you have one body. You have to take care of it. You have to consume good whole foods. You have to take care of it. That is our duty. And I have just mentioned that so much. Y'all, let me interrupt the show for just a minute to introduce you to one of my new favorite products. Following my breast explant surgery, I discovered ASEA and have been using Renew 28 ever since. Seriously, I'm not sure how I ever lived without this product. The fabulous gel has helped fluff my breasts post-surgery, reduce the crepiness on my arms, tighten and smooth my face, and help heal a nasty scar on my daughter's foot. I'm serious, it's so fabulous. This will continue to be a staple in my home for sure. You will just love the youthful appearance it provides and the hydrated, smooth way your skin will feel. I love all the ASEA products I've tried and I'm sure you will too. Learn more and shop at shopasea.com forward slash Tiffany Blackman. And again, that's shopasea.com forward slash Tiffany Blackman or click the link in those show notes. We phrase the seasons. Um, we often send on social media, like, what do you want to hear? What do you want to see? And I take, I take questions from you. And, um, and that's what I've done today. I'm kind of weaving this in with my message today. Personal growth. Someone asked me, how have I grown personally? I have been more in tune and had no idea that health would be such an issue. Um, uh, I just didn't know. I mean, especially in our toxic world that we live in, um, my expectations of myself have evolved. Um, uh, People amaze me. People um, baffle me. The goodness, the kindness of the world. I had Mark and Su Susan Simmelman on the show. Mark surviving a very rare, rare form of cancer, the only known survivor. And his wife taking care of him. The caregiver we call these people, but she is Wonder Woman. People never cease to amaze me. Do piece of people disappoint Yes. Yeah. Lost friends. I've lost people in my life. And you just, I don't know. Is it, do you set expectations to hive yourself or other people? Does this make sense to you? Lost people in my life this year that I, it makes me cringe. You know, just cannot believe actions and I can't believe how Things just come about and things, choices. It's all about choices. And I invite you all 
to think through choices. You know, when you're young and you don't have a frontal lobe and the choices that you make that affect your body and affect your family and your parents. But when you're a grown-ass adult and you make decisions that affect so many people, it makes me think, you know, and you wish you could change people. But again, I'm going to take you back to my theme of helping people. And I hope this helps. I hope everything helps. I guess this last year of the little cancer scare that I had, which is nothing. I look at it and I was talking to Susan Summerman about, she compared and I was like, oh my gosh, I just, my cells. I mean, it was just nothing. But people react differently to things. I actually just kind of poo-pooed. Did I sit in the oncology doctor's office and just stare in this space when I heard the words? Yes, I did. I did. I did. But um, I was trying to think, when I was talking to people that are, are survivors, didn't even gut touch that. And I didn't even, are you kidding me? People that go through things, the people that need help, make sure you're opening that philanthropic heart. And it doesn't have to be financial. It can be prayer. It can be financials, of course. It can be your time, for sure. 100% your time. So are you giving in the right way. And this is not preach. I, I do not preach on this podcast. I'm just sharing information. But you'll never know how good your heart will feel when you give. And you'll never know how, how it comes back. Everything comes back. You don't give to receive, but it does come around. You know, I want to talk to you about my guests. Um, someone asked me the other day, we're going to have... 15 guests this season. Two of them are me, but I'm not a guest. But two of them. So we have 17 shows this season. And they were were asking me my favorite guests. There's not one. There's just not one because everybody brings something to the table. Um, Personal development coach. Oh, my gosh. You've been asking me to talk about alcohol. And you've been asking me to how to, to reduce alcohol in your life and if it's necessary and if you have a problem you don't and I brought on I'm bringing on Jen Couch a sober sis that's just giving facts just giving facts and paving a way for people that want help and assistance and it's all free y'all um nutritionist we're going to talk to to Lizzie Bentley with City Boots her incredible story and then building a great incredible brand we're going to talk about sleep. I just talked about that with Sunflower Shop. And, um, you know, just spinning off gut health with Sunflower Shop, which is a, a fabulous wellness store here in Fort Worth, after talking to Dr. Julie Kennedy about gut health and autoimmune. And we have talked about this season after season. But every time I turn around, there's new research there's new foods to avoid. There's new um, there's new ways of presenting to conquer health. And again, go back to that one body. You ask me how I engage and I connect with my audience. I personally answer every single comment that you make on Instagram. You really don't want me answering on Facebook. <laughs> Because I started out doing Facebook. That's all I knew to do six years ago, how it 10 years ago. And I get on there and I blow the system up. I mean, what is wrong with me? Good grief. But I answer every one of you's direct message. I answer all of my thousands of followers. If you ask me a question, I'm going in. And if I miss it, somebody says, Mom, Tiffy, did you get that? If I've missed something, I apologize, but you're not talking to someone else. You're talking to me. So feel comfort to know that I am talking to you. That's how I connect with you. I ask you for um, to fill out surveys. I ask you, what do you want to hear? What do you want to do? Do you want to hear me anymore? You want me to shut the doors or whatever? And I keep looking at our downloads and going, wow, thank you so much. For supporting it's just amazing yeah what we've done here and what we built with your help um again we're going back to health and wellness and i i 
it's often <laughs> people are like, are you worried you share too much? I mean, the people that are sitting in the room right now with me know exactly what's going on in my body. I have no qualms about sharing because I'm hoping that the person that's in the room with me can learn something. And you know what? I am surrounded by so much youth, so much talent. I mean, I get emotional talking about the talent in my life and the blessing of the people that walk with me every single day that helps me through my day, that helps me through this podcast, that helps me through social media to get a message to you and to fulfill my dream of helping. The fabulous moments, you asked me what fabulous moments, Fort Worth Magazine was a good one, accolades. I just did two stories on breast implant illness featuring my doctor that saved my life. That's, it's huge to me that the story, people don't want to hear this a lot. You know, I've told you that I'm not against implants. I'm just not. They didn't work out for me. I've told you that, but I'm not against it. I collaborate with plastic surgeons that I love and adore. In fact, have you looked at my Instagram and what Dr. Daniels did to me? I, he just did my upper blood. If you're on um, YouTube now. I had it done about three, three and a half months ago, and um, I have to laugh because my daughter, I went in for my month or six week, and my daughter did a, bef a before and after, and I told my doctor, I said, it didn't work. You didn't, <laughs> it didn't work at all, and she did a side-by-side, -side and I was like, does someone want to tell me I look so bad with, <laughs> with my eyes drooping <laughs> down so far, but I love plastic surgeons. I love what they're doing. Again, the implants work for me. They made me very, very sick with breast implant ailments. And those of you that are challenging me and saying it's not a thing, I just wish you would have been in my house the past 13 years. It wasn't bad the whole 13 years. But 2023, that wasn't pretty. And if you were in my life, it wasn't great. But I am so fabulous now. I'm great. Um... What do I want to do? I want to spend more time with my husband. Put him on the back burner because I'm working so hard. Can't do that. I'm going to spend more time with my friends. My colleagues. Because life's short, y'all. And I'm so sorry. I'm breaking down, but it's short. It's been a year and um, it's been fun, but um, not spending a freaking time with my husband. I drive him crazy and he drives me crazy, but he's my crazy. And so we're going to spend more time together. I promise we are. He wants to travel and why in the world am I saying I'm going to travel? What am I afraid of, you know? So there's fear and I'm sure you, yeah, everyone Anyone listening to this that gets it, please direct message at me and tell me I'm not crazy <laughs> for sure. I have so many things, people to thank in this industry. I mean, it's just amazing. I have Chris, it's my producer. It's been with me for a while now. And um, I walk in, he always has a smile on his face. I ask him a question. If he doesn't know the answer, he's going to find out the answer. Um my fabulous assistant Paige has been with us a month, and she's still with me, y'all. <laughs> she's still with me. And um, the people that come in my life. Uh, my daughter is the love of my life. She has been working with me for a few years now. I'm blessed. I keep telling her, go, go, go. Go and do your own thing. Go and go into corporate world. And she walks in my house every day, and we work, and we just think, make things happen. And I'm so blessed. Now, the community of my so-called fabulous, the followers, the um, family, everyone, it doesn't happen alone. And people are like, oh, you, you, this is you. I always, um, when I'm answering brands, I always say we. I never say I. And that's, I don't want to meddle for that. That's not what I'm talking about. I just say that because, yes, my face is on the Instagram. My face, you're looking at right now, but it's a group of fabulous people that I am so blessed to work with. Everything, every, every one of them are just amazing. So that's my so-called fabulous for 2024. We're going to round it out. 
2025 in January, I turned 60. I cannot believe it. I've said it multiple times. We're going to put on a heck of a party, and then we're going to show you um, what 60 is. Because they said 60 is the new something. I'm not real sure about that yet. Because I'm not 60 yet. But thank you all for voting for me, commenting. Yes, if you are on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, if you comment on YouTube, this platform that we're, the YouTube shorts, I didn't even know what that was, but my recipes, if you're trying those recipes, if you're trying anything, comment, let me know. It just, it just helps us. It always does. This is a big, big pond and we're a little bitty fish, but it's okay because we're mighty and strong. Y'all, thank you so much. I want to read something to you that my friend posted actually today, Joe in Austin. She's a beautiful influencer, but I took her words. I changed it a little bit, but the past was not a series of accidents. Every laugh, tear, step taken was leading to where you stand today. You listen about this? Journey of self-discovery and growth. Embrace it all. Joy, pain, lessons. As all of this has shaped who you are today, you are not defined by your past. You are refined with where you are now. You're the architect of your life. Every experience has built you to be stronger, wiser, and closer to my true self to your true self. Your future is positive and filled with growth and love. And this is something and a mantra that I want us all to really live by. And I'm not a therapist. I'm not a healthcare professional. I'm just Tiffy Blackman. And I read this today and I was like, golly, sometimes my past just sucked. And I've heard from you and it's the same thing. We're not defined by that. We're bigger and better now. And we're all wonderful. Thank you all for listening. We have a fabulous season ahead of us. And um, we're going to round it out in, in, in December. And uh, 17 shows. And everyone, I have told you this so many times. Keep being fabulous. <laughs>